how do the ghosts control the weather? Yeah, too? it's just it's just completely ridiculous. It's too ridiculous <laughs> to be a good haunting movie. That's right. Hello and welcome to a long-awaited edition of Frightfully Forgotten's Dead Wrong. <laughs> but before we get started, what are we drinking? Boyd's Journey, Sierra Nevada clone. Ooh, yeah. So today we're going to take another beloved, well-renowned, praised movie that everyone seems to love, that we don't, Yep. and tear it a new asshole. <laughs> it's 1982's Poltergeist. Man, a lot of people love Poltergeist. Top scariest movies of all time, scariest scenes of all time. Yeah. All this stuff gets so much praise. It came out, critics loved it, audiences loved it, everyone loved this movie. <laughs> we fucking hate it. I can't yeah. stand Poltergeist. It's, it's hard to sit through the whole movie. And we think just as a horror movie as a haunting movie it doesn't work no it doesn't check the boxes and it's kind of just a nonsensical mess yeah really and really i think it's like sci-fi at best at best <laughs> you know sci-fi <laughs> so let's go through some points here what makes a good haunting movie good and where poltergeist really shits the bed and <laughs> yeah. all those things. Yeah, let's start with the plot. A family moves into this crazy new suburb with these enormous houses that normal people cannot afford <laughs> for one thing. And they start experiencing poltergeist activity, the, right? The chairs moving. Yeah. Which is like they're having fun with it. They're like, ooh, yeah. like yeah. riding it like a fucking ride at an amusement park. Then you have the kid that starts experiencing things, right? With the tree, starts scraping against the window, and yeah. then it breaks through the house and grabs the kid. And, and it absorbs <laughs> the kid, like puts the kid in itself as a tree. Then you also have Carol Ann, who's watching Static on the TV. They're here! And disappears into the TV. That's the plot of the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole fucking plot. A kid disappears into a TV because there's ghosts. Yeah, how, like, how do ghosts suck a child into a TV? It's, it's an extremely lax plot. It's all over the fucking place. Just a bunch of random things <laughs> in a house that don't connect. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's too ridiculous to be believable, therefore it's not scary. Like a fucking tree? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. And the funny thing is none of the neighbors are like, holy shit, there's a tree over there that's alive. That's moving and that's, everything. That's <laughs> grabbing children. There's that tornado that comes too. Oh, yeah. And like, what, there's this isolated tornado that's only in my yard? Yeah. Like, <laughs> how do the ghosts control the weather yeah, too? Yeah, it's just, it's just completely ridiculous. It's too ridiculous <laughs> to be a good haunting movie. That's right. A good haunting movie should be subtle, at least at first. Slow to start, right? And then maybe it gets into the more serious stuff, but this movie, like, <laughs> one of the first things that happens is the tree comes to life and grabs the child. Yeah, so they blow their load too much too soon, right? Which has a lot to do with the pacing of this movie and the structure is just so so fucked, especially for a haunting movie. Yeah, it's all over the it's place. It's all over the place. It's like the shit hits the fan way too quick. Carol Ann gets sucked into the TV like halfway through the movie. That's almost like the crescendo yeah, of the movie. It should be more towards the end, you'd yeah. think, something like that yeah. happening. And then, like, all this crazy shit happens. The tree comes to life, the kid gets sucked into the TV. And then it kind of just stops, turns into this investigation, trying to find this missing kid. It just gets really boring in the middle. It's supposed to go from the bottom and slowly ramp up. Yeah. But this is like up here, Ooh. then down yeah. here, then up here again, yeah. then down here. You're taken from zero to a hundred and back down again multiple times. Yeah. And it doesn't work. For me, 
as a viewer watching a good haunting movie, that doesn't work. Yeah. You're you're already you're watching the payoffs happen before there's been anything really setting it up. Yeah. There's no setup. Yeah. It's just all cool things happening. <laughs> yeah, it's just all flash. All steak, no sizzle. That's right. Yeah. And the whole idea of, you know, a kid disappearing into a TV for me is the most ridiculous thing. It's not scary. It's not believable. And it's just real bad in your face social commentary about kids sitting in front of the fucking boob tube. Don't sit too close to the TV. You're going to ruin your eyes. A really good haunting movie. It revolves around the ghosts. Why are there ghosts haunting this house? What, what do they want? Why are they at unrest? What do you want from us? We kind of get that this movie, but there's no real discovery. No one is seeking out a reason why. They're trying to solve the problem, but they're not trying to find the root of the problem. Exactly. Which and that's what makes a good ghost story is finding the root of the problem. Yeah, as the viewer, you want to know yeah. what the problem is, right? Yeah. And that's part of the enjoyment of it is yeah. them finding that out. And finding out what the ghosts want. In this, we never find out what the spirits want. They just don't want them living there. They want them living there. Well, that's boring. That's... who gives a shit? What original reason for them to want these people out of their house is there in this movie? There is none. The way that the ghosts go about it, too, hijack the kids as hostages. A terrible thing to do. That's not going to make anyone leave the no, house. No, it's going to make them stay to try and get the kids back. Yeah, so it's really <laughs> stupid. It's a dumb idea. It's a dumb fucking idea. <laughs> This movie, the whole idea is this movie is fucking dumb. And if you're making a fun, stupid, campy horror or comedy, that's fine. But this movie is trying to be serious. Yeah. I yeah. think it's hard to tell because the tone is so fucked up in this movie. The tone starts out more so like a comedy, yeah. right? Like an 80s family comedy about them moving into the suburbs. A movie like, say, Amityville Horror. Opening credits with that haunting music. Yeah and then a family buying a house they can't afford <laughs> yeah. or they shouldn't be able to afford but the they key. can they, they, because because compared to this is like the drastic differences between a great haunting movie and in our opinion a shitty haunting movie a family that's struggling to make ends meet eighty thousand dollars starts off really eerie creepy compared to Oh, everyone's rich and, you know, and uh, we <laughs> yeah. buy this big fucking house and oh, everyone's perfect. Can't relate to anybody. Yeah, you can't relate to any of the characters and none of the characters are overly likable. The characters all fucking stink. They, yeah. You don't root for anybody. There's no real hero. No. The mom's kind of a hero. She straps a rope around her waist and goes into a portal. <laughs> To get the kid back, which is the stupidest fucking thing ever. So there's ghosts, but they, there's a portal too? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what? where does this portal come anyways? So she's kind of the hero, but there's no real development. You know, there's no like struggle. Like, no one com becomes a better person or becomes the hero. It's just mm -hmm. like, everyone's just flat. Is it one ghost or is it 50 ghosts or yeah. are the ghosts coming through this portal <laughs> and is it 50 of them no. or like you don't it's too much it's too much and that's the biggest problem with this movie it's like how haunted can a fucking house be? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sharing ghost stories. People love to share ghost stories. That's how these things become legend. Well, I heard something last night or I saw like I thought I saw like a figure, little things like that. Nobody's ever come to me and after at work at lunchtime, oh yeah, well, the tree came alive <laughs> outside my house. And grabbed my kid. Or my kid got sucked into the TV. Yeah, it's like you got more problems than a ghost. Yeah, it's I like, that, like, no, haunt, it should be subtle and relatable and believable. And yeah. at this point, it's just fucking pure fantasy yeah. to the point where it's not scary. That's right. Like when your house was haunted. It was pretty subtle. Yeah, <laughs> you did shit your pants though. What the hell are you wearing that shit for? You said you had a ghost in the house. Yeah, but this shit doesn't do anything. It's just fucking toys. Ghosts don't know that. To see this, we'll scare them right off. All right, come on in. 
Wow! A symmetrical book stacking! Yeah, that's where I keep my books. In front of the TV. Where do you keep them? In a bookcase. Not in front of the fucking TV. Re-electoplasmic residue! Aw, oh, shit! I'm leaking hand soap everywhere! See? I told you I had a ghost. Wow. Well, go get her. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, I think I gotta take a big shit. So? Oh. Oh, you know how long it takes to get all this gear off? Well, what about the ghost? Oh. Oh, God. Just damn enchiladas. It's not scary enough or funny enough or intriguing enough to make it a real entertaining movie. Yeah, yeah, it's just pieces. It's pieces, it's <laughs> random shit that yeah. Spielberg thought up like, this would be a scary moment. Yeah, let's put that in. That would be scary too. Oh, this clown thing is pretty scary. Let's throw that in there. It's not, there's no cohesion. Random garbage. There's no glue. Yeah. And the glue should be the mythos, the story of the spirits. Yeah. And there is real no story. It's, it's at the end, it's thrown in as an afterthought. Complete afterthought. Oh, you took the headstones but yeah. left the bodies. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? So? That's the but, big mystery? Yeah, by that point, you don't give a shit. Yeah. The load has already been blown big time. It's like, that's the that's the fucking mystery that's been revealed? Yeah. So? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, exactly, no shit. It tries to get intellectual. Big business, you know, mm -hmm. big companies that buy up the land and yeah, they don't it, treat the land properly. Yeah, that's all shoved aside is like a quick blip yep. on the fucking radar of this movie. <laughs> exactly. In the end, like people are like, oh, you know, when she's in the swimming pool and the bodies, like at that point, you're so desensitized yep. from all the other shit you saw. You don't care. How can that be scary? Another thing too is the music. There's hardly any memorable music in this movie at all. It's done by Jerry Goldsmith, like yeah. one of the greats. So you just kind of fucking phoned it in. There's no there's no real general theme to this that's memorable. It's all Hollywood bullshit. Yep. This movie is pure Hollywood bullshit. <laughs> Thanks to Steven Spielberg and his great idea of making, you know... A an, scary movie. An epic haunting movie, and that's what it is. It's an epic haunting movie. It's too epic. And I just can't wrap my brain around why people love it so yeah. much. So because Spielberg was involved in the project, they obviously had the money and the means to do whatever the fuck they wanted. Riding that Spielberg wave, right? Yeah, and it shows. And the thing is, is that they brought in the best special effects. The best of everything, yeah. basically. The effects are fucking great. The effects are awesome. The acting is great. Well, here, let's just use all this. Flash, flash, flash. Look at the fucking effects. Oh, it's wonderful, yeah. But do you care? Where's the story? Where's the characters? Where's anything? Yeah, it's like, I don't... I don't really care about anything. The whole mystery as to whether Spielberg directed this or Toby Hooper directed it yeah. is, you know... It's almost more intriguing than the story of this fucking movie itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because Spielberg came up with the story, co-wrote the screenplay, the couldn't direct the movie because he was directing E.T. So Toby Hooper directed it. It's one of those things, like, it's that you'll never find out. You hear a story from this person, a story from that person, who was actually directing this movie. Some people say, not oh, Toby Hooper, it's his movie. Yeah, I don't think so. Some people say, well, Spielberg was there every day, yeah. playing Mr. Puppeteer. I just don't think that Spielberg knows how to make a good haunting movie. Yeah, no. 
and Toby Hooper was stuck in the middle, and it turned into just gibberish. By this point, Steven Spielberg was the top, mm -hmm. right? So whatever he says goes, right? Yeah. And he's got like the execs backing him and everything. So it's like, Toby, who? What's Toby Hooper gonna say? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, he's under contract yeah. and all this oh. shit. It's like, okay. You're gonna oh. listen to me. You're gonna listen to Spielberg yeah. over here. Or you're out on your ass. Yeah. It's like Spielberg. Yeah. Like he's done some great stuff. Yeah, but he's also done some not so good stuff. And this is one of them, in my opinion. Close Encounters, I think, is fucking super overrated. Overrated and boring. E.T. It's kind of shitty. <laughs> yeah. E.T. kind of fucking sucks. Yeah. As a kid, oh yeah, great. Watch it recently. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? We both think Jaws is a great movie, but it's overrated. You know, it has its moments, but did it deserve the fanfare it got? I don't really think so. Not really. As far as a horror movie goes. Yeah. We're talking about horror movies here. Yeah. And Poltergeist is a shitty fucking horror movie. It feels like one of those rides at an MGM studio. That's exactly what it is. You know. You nailed it. When you're in that yeah. cart thing and yeah. you're all moving and That's shit. what it is. It's just a joyride. Yeah. <laughs> Poltergeist is a shitty joyride with no plot, no story, shitty characters. Yeah. Bad pacing. Yeah. And nonsensical fucking structure. And shitty egos at work. Yeah. I think probably Steven Spielberg was, you know, thought he was hot shit, yeah. right? Oh, I can I can do anything. And this movie made a lot of fucking money. Yeah. It's beloved. We yep. can't deny that. Yep. It's just a bad fucking horror movie. <laughs> exactly. With a really shitty, stupid ending. So the house just turns into a bubble and disappears? Yeah, it's like, that's the conclusion that you wrote in for this? It's like, well, they couldn't, it's like, they were kind of on set one day or something. It's like, how are we gonna wrap this up? Well, oh, just the house. make the house implode on itself. Great idea. That'll, that'll, That's good. That'll wrap everything up nice and neat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Okay. <laughs> Again, talking about things that you know, you 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 know, scary things that happened. And oh fuck, you know what happened to me? Well, I was outside last <laughs> night, and the house across the street from me imploded into nothing. <laughs> That's not all scary. This, with all the strobe lights yeah. all around and glowing and everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. What would you say to the guy? You're full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. Wasn't like the whole development built on this... Shouldn't they all Shouldn't go? they all be haunted <laughs> yeah. and they all be imploding? Yeah, like what's the deal you with know, just the one just house? Just the one house. Just the one house implodes. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Fucking stupid, makes no sense. Compared to a masterpiece like The Changeling, where it's like, ah, oh, there's a mystery that unfolds. Yeah, keeps you engaged. It keeps you engaged, and it, the haunting is, the haunting is haunting in something like The Changeling. Yeah, yeah. Good fucking characters, great story. This, bullshit. Yeah. Nonsensical Every fucking bullshit. Yeah. Everything is just in your face flash with nothing behind it to back it up. Mm -hmm. That's our opinion on Poltergeist. If you don't like it, you can fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> You're pretty mad there. You're getting pretty steamed. Getting no <laughs> steamed. <laughs> So let us know in the comments what you think of Poltergeist. I'm sure <laughs> we're probably going to be in the <laughs> in the minority here on this one. We're prepared. There's a lot of movies we used to watch as kids that we didn't like that we like now. Yeah. Or the reverse. Yeah. And it's like Poltergeist is still not one of them. Yeah. It's like I no matter how hard I try. Yeah, I can never I like it. It's just I've tried. I've tried. We've both tried yeah. to like this movie. We just can't do it. It just doesn't do it for me. And until next time, keep drinking.